What's up, Bang Clan, and welcome back to the channel. I look a hot mess. I'm breaking out so bad, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm stressed. It's been a lot recently. I'll tell you guys the tea in just a minute, but I have to fix this today. I never get pimples, really, like, on my forehead, and it's bad. I think we're about to take the kids for a bike ride, get out of this freaking house, because I need something to, like, lift my spirits right now. We went to dinner with my mom the other day, and it was really funny, because she was like, so I see that you've been baking a lot lately, and normally when I'm baking a lot, she's, like, come to the conclusion that, like, I'm stressed when I'm baking, because I really don't do that. I don't know, it's a sense of, like, kind of control for me, so I've been baking a lot yesterday. I baked banana bread, made donuts, made dinner, who am I? I made chicken parmesan, and I also made regular bread, and then I prepped another loaf to make today so i guess you could say i'm going a little crazy but it's fine everything's fine and i cover up all these things everything will be fine i somehow lost all my beauty blenders all my brushes smells like hazel has been in my makeup box so we've just been vibing just blending with fingers which is fine i think fine the one brush i do have has paint all over it it's fine so um i mean my mom was right like i do tend to just like bake random stuff whenever I'm stressed out. But in that, I feel like I've learned to love it almost. Like, that's weird. I don't know, it's a lot of fun. I'm also like really excited for Cookie to have her baby. Cause then I'm gonna be able to make all kinds of stuff like goat cheese, obviously goat milk, yogurts. And I'm really excited for that. The way I am blending with my hands like this. Why are you guys fighting? Oh, we're gonna have a good day. We've all been sick. I actually just took my church to the doctor yesterday or the day before. He was just making me nervous. He has a double ear infection. His breathing like the night before, I was like, I am taking him. Oh, we also had a meeting with the kids' school. I'll get into that in a few. First things first, we are getting out of this house. Guys, you want to go for a bike ride? We're back home. I mean, homemade. Homemade what? It's a steak sandwich. With whose bread? I made it fresh. I made it fresh from scratch. No, I did. Speaking of, I made this last night, so it rose all night and it's ready to be baked. This is my sourdough starter. I'm on day. I think this is day number four or five. I made my mom one at the same time, but this is where it was last night, so it's rose. Pretty far. I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just following a recipe that I found. This is, I call it my quick easy bread. This starter is a sourdough starter and it's gonna take like 10 days or something like that. Look at that. I think this one's gonna be a good loaf. I want strawberry snack. Strawberry snack. I'm gonna have this one. You got two yogurts? Yeah, I get this one. Gonna add a little design. Yeah, I don't know what I'm doing. Then it's gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes. And it'll be so yummy. The kids are playing outside and it slipped inside and it's so cute. Mommy, watch this. <laughs> I'm craving a dessert. We've been eating so much bread, so I'm gonna prep another loaf for tonight because I think we're gonna have my mom and her boyfriend over for dinner. I do three cups of flour. I am not a baker, you guys. And I can do this, you can do this. If you make your own bread at home for your family and you know the ingredients that are going into here compared to like, if you read what's on the bread that you buy at the store. Pinch or two of salt. I don't measure things, really. Where's the lid? I don't know. And then I also do, was that salt? No, sugar. And then just like a little salt. About two cups of water. The goal is for like a pancakey consistency and so just put water in until you get that. I can already tell like I need more water. Okay, and this is like the goal of the consistency. And we're just gonna let this sit for like two to three hours or a lot of the times at night, I'll just let it sit overnight. That's literally it. And then you bake it at 450 for 30 minutes covered and then 10 minutes uncovered. So simple, so yummy. This bread is already done. Look how freaking yummy that looks. Speaking of baking, you guys, I just went to the dollar store and I got some cake. I was gonna make it from scratch, but I was like, you know what? No, I'm gonna go get some cake. I wanna make the trust leche or attempt. 
I'm probably not saying that right. So I got some condensed milk. I told y'all I'm in my baking era. <sighs> Bryce I even like came and got this by myself because I haven't like left the house. Something really sketchy happened to me and I haven't left the house since. So what happened after we dropped off Wilder and Hazel at school, me, Venture, and Garrick, we were headed home. There's a Dollar Tree near where we were at. I was like, I need to run in here really quick. I saw something on TikTok that I really wanted, like in the kitchen area, since I've been baking and stuff. So I was like, I need to run in there. So I go in there and Venture and Garrick stay in the car because Venture's taking a nap at this point. So I'm like, it's fine, I'll run in really fast. It was like me and one other person in this store. And I remember thinking, oh, this is gonna be like such a smooth trip because it was just me and this other person in the store, it was so early. While I was looking at the kitchen stuff, he was also, I was looking at the kitchen stuff for like 20, whole minutes and he was as well but I caught on after like five minutes he wasn't actually like looking for anything I was picking stuff up you know I was looking I was like is it this or this or you know whatever and I just notice I just feel him like staring at me you know and at this point I only see him he has like a wife or an other half or whatever that's in the store too but I didn't know that it was just him so I like get a weird feeling after the 20 minutes and he's like just staring at me and so I go to another section of the store I think I'm looking at like the the storage bin section and so he goes over there to the storage bin section and i'm just like what in the world like i notice at that point that he's lingering you know and he's not really looking at anything it was just a very weird like instinctual feeling girls if you know you know so i test it and i go to a different part of the store and there you are he's like stalking me at this point and making me feel so uncomfortable that I start recording on my phone and I'm glad I did because what I didn't realize what he was doing is he was waiting for me to make eye contact with him I like saw him he would like put his card down and like wait for me to see if I would see it I caught on to this like when he finally did it like what he was doing so then finally he locks eyes with me and then he places this card down on the shelf and I'm like there's no way like that is just so weird keep in mind this guy is very creepy vibes way older inappropriate even if it was like innocent very inappropriate like just weird i take like a video of this card so i could go back and look at it before any of this had happened before i felt like anything was weird i like, actually told garrick i'm like hey come in inside with me like let venture pick out his toy so he comes in before i even know anything's weird and so he's on the opposite side of the store when this happens him and venture guy puts down the card and i'm and instantly i'm like finding garrick i'm like garrick so i find him and i like tell him what happened and at this point we thought that he had left garrick's like looking around the store and everything and then found him well, them, because he was with a girl in, like, the back section of the store doing whatever it is that they were doing. And I, like, tell Garrick what's going on, and I'm like, just keep it chill, because his first instinct was, like, I'm gonna go over there. Because you, like, you never know what people are capable of, like, what their intentions are, you know? And so I'm, I'm still recording at this point, and I want to know, like, what's up. So I go over there to them. I'm still recording, and I don't say anything, and he is, like, lurking at me still, like, making eye contact with me, which is what... I thought he would do so then I finally spoke up and said something I'm like why are you following me why are you stalking me can I ask why you keep staring at me um sorry no English yes you do because you left your card there I know that you speak English why do you keep staring at me and why did you leave your card over there it's fine. why do you keep staring at me and why did you leave your card over there oh no 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 problem no problem no yeah. Why do you keep staring at me? Why have you been lurking around everywhere I go? Oh, no, no problem, no. And he's like, me no speak English. I'm like, but your card that you just set down for me to look at is English. I'm like, I know you speak English. I know you hear me. And they're like looking at me like I'm crazy at this point. I'm like, I am not crazy. And from the second I stepped foot in this store, you have been stalking me. And he's just kind of like looks shocked because i don't think most people say something when they feel this way but i've learned like if you feel uncomfortable you need to make it known because it makes the people that are making you feel uncomfortable uncomfortable so i speak up they're like me no speaking of this whatever and him and his wife or whatever they pull out their phone like they need a translator like they speak no english i'm like okay translate this why are you being creepy why are you stalking me why did you leave your card? And I know that you have a different motive behind whatever it is that you were doing. Garrick's calling the police in the background. And I totally agree that he did. So there is a paper trace of it. Y'all, the card was the creepiest thing ever. On the card, there's business that is not a business in our area 
or anywhere that I found. It has his address on it, which is legit less than five minutes away from me. Just feel like so nervous and like just weirded out by this situation because I know that it was so much more and so much deeper than like that interaction. Police come and they're like investigating the situation and stuff and keep in mind whenever I told the police this, they told me that it sounds like he was trying to recruit me. That is verbatim what he said. But what really pisses me off is the way that the cop called me and is like, hey, I just want to put your mind at ease. I went to his house and him and his wife told me that they were just trying to market their business. I was like, you believe that? The cop also said that he couldn't even provide a driver's license, so he doesn't even know if he's a legal citizen. And I was like, that doesn't seem suspicious at all and apparently he could speak english to the cop but not to me i feel like so uneasy this is why i told the cop if he was trying to market something why did he not come up him and his wife come up and say hey i have a business here's my card why are you lurking while i'm sitting in the dollar tree for 30 45 minutes just staring at me stalking me i posted this in like my local mom facebook group and there were some people that came forward and said, like, I had a similar experience with that guy, if it's the same guy, because I posted pictures of him, posted pictures of his license plate, posted pictures of the card. It's just weird. It doesn't add up, you know? And I just want to make it known here, like, if something happens to me, it was that guy. And it sucks because I love that Dollar Tree. I go to that Dollar Tree all the time, and now I, like, feel so uncomfortable going there especially, but, like, anywhere right now be hyper aware of your surroundings because if i wasn't i don't know like how or what why did he leave that card why did he want it known for me like why did he want me to pick that card up it might sound like silly to someone but if you've never been in that like kind of situation where you never know really what could happen and like someone being so weird like that you just never know people's true intentions and like me and Garrick were talking about this the other day like everywhere you go you never know like who is evil like someone that you see at the grocery store you're like hey how are you doing like what are they doing behind closed doors like it's just you never truly know someone you know I don't know so I've been baking the cake is done it smells so good in here I just took a bath with the kids and now I need to put like the condensed milk and stuff in it look how fluffy why is this not going? No. Oh my gosh, I'm about to have Garrick do this. Pour this all together, apparently. I used to get the stuffed snowballs with the evaporated milk and condensed milk. That is good. It is. Is this evaporated? Mm -hmm. I think like a cup of milk, it said. Shake it all together. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm making the stuff what? that goes in it. And then you're just supposed to get a fork. How do you feel that your woman's a baker now? I feel that. <laughs> Feel that heavily. I literally never used to cook at all. It's good. The rest I'll drink. What? <laughs> Who are you drinking it? Is it, yeah. is it good? Okay, then we're gonna put this in the fridge for a little. Hello, you guys. It is the next day. Hi, baby. We're about to go to a trunk or treat, but still no closure on that situation. I'm making a pound cake, if you guys know the vibes of that. And I'm sitting here waiting at the window, waiting for my new bread pan to come in. <laughs> Oh. I'm gonna end the vlog here on that note. On that note. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Smash that notification bell so you don't miss any our upcoming quarters. We'll see you in the next one.